Yesterday you looked at how writers create suspense in their writing. Today you're going to get a chance to try this on in your own writing. Suspense is the intense feeling that an audience goes through when they're waiting to find out what's going to happen. It leaves the reader holding their breath and wanting more information. And as you saw yesterday, as the story moves towards the climax, the moment when the conflict is the most intense, the moment that is the most exciting or the most tense, Suspense builds. That intense feeling gets stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger as the story builds towards the climax. And this is true of all genres. It's not just true of adventure and horror. It's also true of comedy and romance. We see suspense building in all genres. There are a lot of different tools that authors use to build suspense. One of the tools that you'll see early on in a story is foreshadowing, when the author hints at what will happen in the future. For example, if a character sees a warning sign and it says, watch your step, we as the reader know that that character at some point is going to fall. So we're sitting there waiting for the character to fall, which creates suspense. Authors also stack up events. The problems or the consequences in the story get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until we know that at some point everything is going to fall apart like this Jenga game. And then one of my favorite techniques that I see um, a lot in adventure and horror is writing in short, quick sentences. And this creates that feeling of your heart beginning to race. The tool, though, that we're going to play with primarily today, that really gives you the biggest bang for your buck, is exploding a moment or writing in slow motion. And this is a technique that we've played with before, but it is probably the strongest tool you have as a narrative writer. So I really want to focus on it again today. Exploding a moment or writing in slow motion, like this picture here, um, is when we create the experience for the reader that time has actually slowed down. That they're seeing the moment in slow motion. So there are some strategies that you have for doing that. The first is to give lots of specific sensory details to help the reader visualize the entire scene, to linger on important descriptions, and to use simile and metaphor to develop them. Um, and then lastly, to delve into the character's thoughts and tell what he is thinking and feeling at the time. We're going to call that one inner thinking. So I want to look at a really great example of exploding a moment or writing in slow motion and how an author uses this to create suspense. So this is Spilled Milk by Barry Lane. I'm going to read it once through and then we'll look at some of the techniques that he uses. I watched myself begin this horrible deed. My hand seemed to suddenly have a will of its own. It picked up a mil the milk carton. The spout was already open. My arm extended over Carol's head, tipping, tipping the carton. The liquid poured in a slow, steady, thick, unending stream down through her long, blonde hair, soaking the back of her clothes and running onto the floor. As the milk reached the floor, I shifted the spout slightly to begin another long, milky journey down the front of her. It poured over her forehead and into her eyes, running in rivers down each side of her nose, converging on her chin and splashing onto her plate. Her food was soon a wash, and the milk poured over the edge of her plate and ran into her lap. And still, I poured on. It was too late to stop now, the rapture of it all. Oh, sweet revenge. Carol was shocked into absolute silence. Her milk-washed eyes staring at me in total disbelief. What had I done? <clears throat> I only meant to pour a little to scare her, and now it was all over, everywhere. Her chair was a four-legged island in the middle of a giant white pond on the kitchen floor. How could one quart of milk go so far? For a second or two, she didn't react, and I had a belief but fleeting prayer that she was stunned speechless but not for long. Daddy, she screamed at the top of her lungs. So Barry Lane uses sensory details everywhere, <clears throat> but some of my favorites 
in this first paragraph especially, um, I love this line, the liquid poured in slow, steady, thick, unending stream down through her long blonde hair, soaking the back of her clothes and running onto the floor. So Barry Lane uses tons of adjectives, just like packs them all in to really create this experience for the reader that they can imagine this whole scene in slow motion. A little bit later, um, I love this line uh, here, again, we have lots of adjectives. It poured over her forehead and into her eyes, running in rivers down each side of her nose, converging on her chin and splashing onto her plate. The author really spends time describing every single detail. So that's one of the things that I want to see today in your writing is I want you to slow down and really describe every single detail. The author also uses a lot of metaphor and simile, but my favorite one here is her chair was a four-legged island in the middle of a giant white pond on the kitchen floor. So remember a metaphor is when we compare two unlike things without using like or as. So here, Barry Lane is comparing this puddle of milk on the floor to a four-legged island um, in the middle of this giant white pond, right? Um, and then inner thinking um, is one tool that we haven't talked a lot about, but inner thinking is when we get to see the character's thoughts. And this is a great way to slow down time, to really paint a picture for the reader, and to, to help the reader feel like that intensity that the character is experiencing. So we have inner thinking here. I watched myself begin the horrible deed, right? We have the rapture of it all. Oh, sweet revenge. Even here, when, when the character thinks for a second or two, she didn't react, and I had the belief but fleeting prayer that she was stunned speechless, right? We get to see into the character's thoughts and feelings. So today I want to see sensory details, metaphor and simile, and inner thinking, and I want you to really work hard to create the experience for the reader that time has slowed down, that it's moving in slow motion. And your flash draft today is this. You're going to choose a moment from your life. We don't often ask you to write about your own life. We love to have you write narratives about fictional worlds, about characters that you've dreamed up. But today I want you to choose a moment from your life. And I, your goal in this flash draft is to build suspense, to build that intense feeling through exploding a moment or writing in slow motion. So remember that the strategies that you have are these sensory details, similes and metaphors, and then that inner thinking, delving into the character's thoughts and feelings. I actually wrote this flash draft, um, and so I wanted to read it to you. Um, so the flash draft that I wrote about was about um, a moment for me, um, water skiing, and I was trying to get outside of the wake. So the wake is kind of um, the waves that are created by the boat, and I was trying to get outside of that. So here's my flash draft. Hopefully you experience suspense through um, slowing down time and um, really exploding the moment. Hold on, my father shouted from the boat. His warning sounded miles away over the sounds of the waves thrashing loudly at my sides. It was a horrible day to be out on the water. The bitter wind whipped around me. It was like it was out for revenge. Every gust hit me harder than the previous, threatening to knock me off balance and drench me in ice-cold water. I gripped tightly to the plastic handle and squinted, trying to make out the bright red boat through the tower of water. If I could straighten myself out, I might have a chance, I thought. I shifted the skis below me and began to lean. The rope immediately became taut. I pulled harder, knowing that I needed the tightness of the rope to pull me across the wave. If I let up at all, my skis would collapse and I'd fall forward into the freezing water. I leaned hard to the right and pointed my skis diagonal towards the towering wall of water. It seemed to get bigger and angrier with each second, with every second. I'm toast, I thought. There is no way that I'm going to make it across the wave. My legs felt wobbly beneath me, but I kept pulling right. My skis bounced towards the crisp line of white foam. Just before my skis touched the wake, I jerked my hands back, creating, the tension, creating tension on the rope and pulled hard. The right tip of my ski cut through the wave like a knife through butter. I took a deep breath and leaned harder. My left ski entered the wave. Suddenly, I felt the rope slack. So your turn now. I want you to go choose a moment from your life and really work hard to use exploding a moment or writing in slow motion, that technique, to create suspense. Have fun.